Welcome to On the Road with Riley. I'm Riley Mulherker, and we're back this week going to my hometown, the city of Seattle, Washington. I'm so excited to check in on how things are going way out west and to check in with one of my dear friends, pianist, composer, educator, Marina Albero. Her and I teach together every summer at Seattle Jazz Ed, a great teaching organization out in Seattle. This year, we don't get to be together in person, but we get to be together virtually. So let's check in with Marina and see how things are going out in Seattle. Marina, how are you doing? Hey, Riley, I'm doing great. How are you? I'm hanging in there. I'm better now mm -hmm. that I'm with you, you know. Teaching with you was always a highlight of my year, and we don't get to do it this year. But tell me a little bit about how, how you're doing and, and how things are going out in Seattle right now. Well, we miss you a lot right here, right now. Um, it's true. I'm used, I'm getting used to seeing you every summer. Um, and, you know, education is a big part of my life. So I do miss that, in, that interaction that we keep alive somehow in Zoom. These kids are my, my heroes. It's amazing how they engage and they commit. Um, we've been having fun. We've been learning from each other, even from the Zoom life. So we're doing good because of the, the connection we all keep. Um, we want it to keep going. And it's amazing. I'm really, really happy. My city, your city, Seattle, I'm so proud how people here social distance from the beginning, how we keep the numbers really, really good because it's been a really serious personal decision. And this city has been also doing fundraisers for artists, for families, um, you know, with, without job, that they lost their job. It's amazing what a city I live in. I'm really, really grateful. And I hope it's a little bit of an example. It's not perfect. Um, I'm not saying, and you know, we had a lot going on in the streets, which also to me um, reflects that there's a lot of people that want to take action. And I like that about Seattle. I like it. It's a city that I do still feel respected and I feel like they appreciate music and they also know that there's a lot to work on. So here, here we are in a moment that we have the, you know, the responsibility as musicians, as performers to let people know that we act this way and that we think this way and we live this way. I'm really, really happy to be in this city that, you know, I can still think about that, being a musician. Well, I think, you know, one, one of the things about this, this time and, and the difficulties of this time, you know, it hits us as performers. It hits us as educators. You're also a mother. So there's, a, there's another element. There's so many intersections in the way that we are moving through uh, this time in this pandemic. Uh, where has your energy been and uh, where has your energy been artistically in your life? Um, how have you found yourself spending your time over the past few months? Yeah, thanks for the question because you are saying all these things and kind of it's been a good um, recap. So yeah, my daughter, for example, she was in New York uh, back in March. And as soon as I got my first things canceled in Europe that I had to tour over there, I just called her and, and bring her back to Seattle. She was taking a break from the new school um, and, you know, starting to have a residency on a, on a place playing her music. So she was really happy in New York. So we ended up here, my son who is 2020 generation, he was graduating this year from high school. So, you know, um, as a mom, as a family, we really had um, some milestones this year that got somehow canceled, uh, changed. Uh, as today, as we speak, my daughter has found a job in Seattle. She has moved out from my place and she's starting a new life as an adult for now um, while she's playing with friends. So as a mom, I have that part cover and my son is also like doing a lot of music at home, helping me out with sound engineering. So I see them both pursuing something and working in things that they like. So that's a blessing because the beginnings were hard when we couldn't project. We had no idea how this was going to, um, you know, end up being. For me as a performer, as an artist, it's a really, really hard time, I have to admit. Um, it's hard because, I don't know, I, I was like, okay, pandemic, let's start composing, writing music. And I had a beautiful commission for 2021. Um, but later on, they canceled when they saw that this season, they, they cannot actually make the money. Um, so they are starting to put on hold next season. So my commission that I had to write for fade away. Yeah. And then 
what do I have to do as a musician? Do I have to sit and write music? Um, is that the attitude that I like? Am I in the, in the right mood? So it's been hard, Riley, I don't know for you, it's been hard just sitting down on the piano and finding any C major choral like, kind of satisfying. You know, everything was like a little bit, ah. Um, in the other hand, as a person, I've never had three months of stopping my, my work. I've been a musician since I remember, professionally, working with my family. So it's been, it's been shocking, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I do know what you mean in that if you had told me back in February that we were going to have months to just take a break from touring and performing, I would have thought, oh, I'll sit out at the piano every day, I'll write symphonies, I'll do extra, <laughs> I'll practice, you know, 10 hours a day. But I haven't found that to be true just because of uh, whatever the factors are, whether they be mental, whether they be you know, literally in terms of uh, all the things we can't do in terms of uh, being in physical spaces together. And uh, it's just funny how, how that works. So it's nice to know that, that you, <laughs> that I'm not alone in that, that you, that you felt that too. Well, I, uh, what I found out that I knew, or I kind of confirmed to myself, uh, it's how much I need the human interaction in general. Um, it's, it's something that it's beyond, uh, almost my control. Maybe when I'm 89 and a half, um, I can be a hermit and be happy with it. Uh, I don't know if it's even my goal right now. I love interacting with people. I love my students. When we're in the same room, we play, I have here my drum set, my vibes, piano. Uh, to me, it's about interaction, music and life. It's about, um, humans interacting and I even my work for the last five years I call it a life soundtrack I always said that my music are my life experiences and it's completely true so if I have no life experiences uh, what am I gonna do I can live from memories and I've been writing some little more little melodies or little tunes um, thinking of maybe on a friend or just sitting down and thinking of you know the mood I am right now and letting it out. So I put myself in different places to more interact with my own feelings. And that's it. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Um, but I, I know, and I knew humans are nothing alone. We need each other. And that's a beautiful confirmation. And I hope that we get the message in, in the most truthful and, and, you know, holistic way and meaning. I hope so. Well, on that note, I wonder, it's been forever since we've gotten to play a tune together. Is there any tune that's been on your mind that we could play together today? Yes, yes. Um, uh, just at last week, I taught them uh, alone together. Which, there, uh, that's a special <laughs> meaning in this time. It's, it's the whole thing, you know, and I'm not a singer. I always miss so much about the lyrics, uh, but alone together. I like kind of even the contradiction in the name. I like alone, but together, together, but alone, you can be both. Um, and now I think it's time to be alone together. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's do alone together. And is there anyone else uh, that we could pull upon? Any Seattle locals? Yeah, one of the ones I've been live streaming with and my very first drummer in my band, and he's still my drummer because I like calling him mine whenever I can have it for me. But it's everybody's, and it's a, the Seattle's uh, very own Devon Lewis, yeah. who is yeah. the yeah. <laughs> is that smile, that musicality, and he has the best son ever that plays drums as well as uh, that. Uh, his grandfather was a musician. It's an honor that I can play with such a great musician like Devon Lewis. I grew up playing with Devon, and it's going to be wonderful to get to play with him again. <laughs> Here we go. Alone together. Marina Albero, thank you so much for hanging out with us today, talking to us. Let's play thank a little you. bit. Let's. <laughs> 